Stop it! So Baby! Baby! Oh, I missed you. Oh, I have. Oh, God, I missed you so much. I could cry. No, I could cry. I honestly, I can't remember what day it was. And I was like, no, she needs to come home no, now. No, I had that. I had that image. And I was like, gorgeous. no, I just... Hi, There's gorgeous. What is happening? I know. Rapunzel. I know. And I don't want to cut it, but it is looking Babe, a bit striking. I love that end. colour on you. It's a really good colour. Good top. <laughs> Hey, thanks. This is a, what did that girl call it in the comments? Hey, a fat me down. Did you read that? No. Funny. <laughs> Instead of funny. a hand me down, it's a fat, fat me down, down but it's funny. like too big and for the person. Hello. Hi. I like these. Which Babe, you look lush. So do you. We have to take girls. I mean, I'm molting and God bless your car. <laughs> also, have I ever told you the story when I was wearing this shirt? We were playing um, sippy cup. You know, yeah, sippy cup? No. no, bouncy cup. I don't know what it's called. Anyway, you have to bounce a ping pong ball into your cup. When you get in, you can pass it on. And there's, there's two of them and they're going and then if you go on top of someone, then they're out and they have to drink the whole drink. It's very chaotic. It's like musical chairs. It's like musical chairs. We cut exactly that. Anyway, he was getting like a bit, there was like one cup left and he was getting like all frantic. Anyway, he like went to push me out the way. Caught this, it's on a popper. Oh, I didn't know you that. You didn't know that. Ripped the whole thing off and I was like, He's Did I shirt. give you the trousers? I fixed it. Yes, I've got the trousers. I've just got my trousers out and there's a huge stain on them. Oh, bummer, why? Yeah, what did you... I don't know. I I've taken lots of clothes out of my wardrobe and they've got stains all over them. And I'm thinking... I don't and know. I'm thinking, what's happening in there? What's happening in there? We How... about your holiday! No, you know, you know, about your holiday! Yeah, 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 you got... too! I want to know about Snob! Oh my god. <gasps> the amount know. of people! Babe. I need to start a travel vlog no, after I that! No, I know. The Slovenian embassy should start paying you. Babe, I felt a little a bit gatekeepy is that bad i was a bit like i don't, I don't want to tell, tell everyone because you're going to go back again well not even i think i honestly think if we were to go back next year it wouldn't be as special because i think it's going to yes. start to get more built up and busy and also the amazingness of yeah. it is the novelty it's the novelty and it was so special and also we got like a really good discount on a really nice hotel the and like hotel looked lush oh my god i mean it wasn't like cheap it was a hundred pound a night each so 200 quid a room that's pretty cheap babe spa that's pretty cheap every evening two free glasses of wine two free cakes and two free coffees and breakfast every morning which every was day. the best breakfast buffet but maybe there was well, night timber in the breakfast buffet pounds. yeah a night that is well cheap. 100 pound each so 200 pound a room but yeah yeah but that's cheap yeah wow I know. Yeah, so anyway, for everyone asking, it's Slovenia and it's not Lake Bled. That's why everyone yeah, goes. Yeah, everyone goes to Lake Bled. And we went yeah. to Lake Bled on the way home and I thought, God, this is sad. Because it's beautiful, really? but it's um, busy. Yeah. Little bit, little bit. But was it, yeah. Cause, because it was also like where people go on the interrail. Exactly. Loads of little kids in low rise the, skirts. Oh. The youths. There was this one youth group, you'd have loved them. They were like lower sixth, really oh posh God. girls. That is, that is when they all go just after their GCSE. Ra, 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 in ra, my ra. ear. And they were chatting about their group chat and the group chat had all their parents on. They were all slagging each other's parents. Like, Ruth's been a bit quiet on the GCE. <laughs> Why is Ruth so quiet on the GC? And like Ruth's no. daughter would be like, yeah, Ruth is a bit quiet. She's such a bitch. I don't know why she's being so quiet. And that's why I was like, they must be young enough to be like first time away from home kind and of all, vibes. Yeah, yeah, to still have to check in. And all the parents yeah, have on the group yeah, chat, which yeah. I thought was quite fun. Really? Right. Yeah, group chat with our mums, that would be fun. Did you? Yeah, we should. Yeah, we should. No. Babe, my mum, I could have been How on Mars I don't know. my mum wouldn't have known. Yeah, I wrote a blog the whole time Me I was there. Me too! And she just read that. My mum didn't even read that. It oh. still exists <laughs> on the internet somewhere and I'm thinking I need to delete that. Yeah, mine does too because I remember writing one chapter about this guy like fucking me up against a wall. And I... <laughs> In Bruges of all places. But did you walk that. every single day? Yeah. Did you? 30,000 steps about up a mountain hills. Wow. My legs were actually really not good. Do you know it's so good. good for you walking? walking. I, like honestly, on another when level. When anyone ever asked me, how can you lose weight? Walking. walking. Honestly, just start walking. No, my friend lost about five, six kilos just from walking around London. Like instead of just getting walk, the tube, yeah, just walking. Just walk. <laughs> Fun. <laughs> On. I love you. Missed, missed you. you so much. <laughs> Yay. Missed these tiny little wrists. <laughs> Luke, can you tell everyone what you did? Okay, so we went to this <laughs> festival called Mad Cool, because I am mad cool. You and Rora are actually mad cool. That Please. is a mad cool thing mad to do cool together. Mad cool thing to do, right? Yeah. And it was amazing. <laughs> it was basically a bit like wireless, because it's like in a city. Okay. So it's like you go and you come out. I've never been to wireless, but it's I kind of know so the vibe. so clean. Mm. My God, the Spaniards. It's like pristine, fake mm. grass, margarita. Yum! Mm. What were the people like? Like, were there other English people? Was everyone speaking Spanish? Like, was no. it international? You know what's quite interesting? No one in Madrid really speaks that good English. Like, you go into a restaurant and they're not like fluent in English. Really? And you expect that. Well, then I, you then I, but English. you know what the most spoken language in the world is? Spanish. Spanish. Is it Spanish after? No, first Spanish, second English. No, what about oh, Mandarin. Mandarin? I think Mandarin might be top. Also, it must be no, different, babe, like, the only... amount of people and then no, globally 
whole spoken. of South America. Yeah. No, yeah. no way, no way. Oh, you're right, sorry. English, Mandarin, right. Hindi is the third. English, Mandarin, Hindi, Spanish. Yeah, we didn't put Hindi in. French then. Oh, I wouldn't have said French. Yeah, French, because like lots of Africa speak French. Oh, sure. Anyway, we saw the first day Ray. Wow. Oh my Babe, gosh. I would do anything to get her in the back of this car. I know. Ray. Hi, hi, well, Ray. This is my bougie story about a famous person. Everyone cares about it now that Ray's famous. Exactly. But once upon a time, I was in a hotel lobby. I was on a trip with a artist, and Ray was also on the same trip. So we were kind of staying in the same hotel. They knew each other, so we were hanging out a bit. Anyway, we got home one night from dinner where we'd been to like Dolce and Gabbana have this restaurant with martini. Anyway, we got home, so we all had a few like, you know, martinis was all a bit like wavy. There was a grand piano in the she hotel just lobby. She just sat down and she sang. Well, her voice. And I was honestly like, well, I could be sick. She, She's I like amazing. And she's cool, Mesmerizing. she's so real she's so, and, You know, mm. actually, Raw, who like doesn't really know Ray, as soon as she got on stage, she was like, she's Amy Winehouse. Yeah, yeah, she that is, is her Amy like, Winehouse. yeah, her reference point, I would say. Wow, like just wow. Anyway, then Mimi Ware, poor Mimi Ware, because she was- Yeah, so you said no one really meant to Yeah, because Lizzo was at the same time. Oh, I mean, bad scheduling. Lizzo. So Lizzo, wow, she's so funny. This one's for the bad bitches! Robbie. Bucky Robbie Williams. Williams. Robbie Williams. My first of all, you kind of forget how many bangers. You know when you talk. If my Let me entertain you. Da, na, na. Um, if my mum said, "Do you want to go see Robbie and pay loads of money?" I'd be like, "Probably not." But no, I'd be like, "Yes." Babe, Candy, Angels. I don't want to rock, rock, DJ. Cause you're making it feel so nice That is a tune Tune He was amazing He was wearing this like sequin gold two piece His necklace says fuck off His rings say fuck Like he's just so cool He's epic I, And I just think yeah. wow you're still doing this He's only 49 I know babe he looks old Yeah well it's the drugs Yeah it's the drugs It's the drugs It's all the drugs um, He's is. from Stoke Yeah I know No one's from Stoke know, My auntie lives in Stoke She won't mind me saying that Sam Smith Iconic Mm. Lil Nas X, I didn't really know any of Lil Nas X's songs. Banger after banger after yeah, very banger. Good. Uh, I'm going at this voice song. I'm going to take my horse to a horse. Yeah. I'm going to ride. ride. <laughs> <laughs> I love the idea no. of Raw at night. <laughs> Lil Nas X. Like, He's so funny, Raw, because like he, he only really went for that Red Hot Chili Peppers who were crap. Why were they so they bad? Because they, they didn't, got tunes. No, but they didn't play any of the tunes. They played all of their new rubbish songs. No, people no, shouldn't babe, do that. No, this, the song that I went for, the only song that California I went Fornication. for. But they didn't play that. They didn't play... <gasps> what genre is this? Like, old school rock? <laughs> like... Disrespectful to your fans. But I agree. That's like going to see Ed Sheeran and him not playing like Shape of You. Like honestly, why would Lego I... House? Right. 80! Bad habits. <laughs> That's how you got here. Right. That's, That's why you're famous. famous. That's like Robbie didn't no, take that, did he? Yeah, he doesn't take that. Good. No, it was honestly it was so disappointing. Remember where you came from? Right. And also remember what songs made you famous? Californication they didn't do under the bridge, like all of their top. Four, and five songs. Sad. So sad. The selling point of this festival was the Red Hot Chili Peppers. Robbie was really the highlight. I can't, I, can't, I would go and see him again in London. He's playing like some tours in Shall London. Shall we go? No, I love no, Robbie. No, no, no. He is unreal. If I were like to be my worst self, I'd be with a man like that. Yes. I think he's really chill. Like, I, I think really, now. Yeah, now. No, he's fine. Four. But I mean, like, she no, married him when wanted. he was not fine. I know. Good for her. I know. She's sexy as well. She is. Wow. She's like kind I of a goddess. I do think you She's have to be a specific tall. type of person. You could do it, actually. I think you're the kind of person that could marry someone like Robert Williams. Was also, about 80 years older than me. Delicious. When I said he's 49, I thought that's in the catchment say. area. 
That's not too high for me. <laughs> she's not even joking. That's Why the not? She's I tell not. you this all the time. It's because my dad's 80, so yeah, I'm allowed yeah, to yeah. date dad age men, just not granddad Where age men. so blonde. blonde. I actually really love it. Sorry, one thing I wanted to say, actually, was drummers. I have a so newfound respect. Don't get me wrong. I can get the how talented. And the, the guy from the Red Hot Chili Peppers, the bassist, Flea, wow. But the drummers, <sighs> it's like they're using all four limbs. They yeah. Every single beat. Also, everyone's going off them. If they're out, if they're we're out, out. Right. And their whole body, like they're drenched in sweat. Is Travis Barker a drummer? Yeah. Wow. It's one of the I'm so I've uncoordinated. Ever. I could not drum. For, with four as well. You've got two My drums. My cousin used to drum. Do, 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 I think she's do, dropped do, it. She should do, get back do, into it. Do, 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 do. You've got four. Babe, you're looking quite natural there. Go on. What? I'm a DJ, so... Babe, how is the DJ? I haven't touched my dates for about two months. I'm not even thinking about it. It's fine. I'm not stressed about it. Tell me about last night. I am so funny when I go full domestic goddess. Like, I think I spent my whole life leaning into my masculine side and I'm like, no, I'm not. I'm so yeah, autonomous and I'm yeah, not a yeah, yeah. classic woman and I'm not going to do these things. I love it. Throw me a penny. Let me bake a cake. Honestly, time wow, of my life. I know. I had a great day. I know. Felt very calm. Yeah. That's because your mum's a good cook. I know. That's her love language. It needs to be a love language. It is Feeding. No, it's What's actually that? Acts, acts of service. service. Yeah. Yeah. What's yours? Mine always comes up as physical touch. Really? Yeah, but I think mine is acts of service just in life. Like, I'm a bit of a martyr. No, but like, I love to do things. No, no, for it's not about what you do, it's what you like to receive. The point is that there's no point in having a love language that you give because it's the person that you love might not want to receive exactly. it. Exactly. Yeah, so you need so to alter you how to you do it. Gracias. Gracias. De nada. Babe, we're not even here to talk. We're doing a Q and A today. Can we go get something to eat or drink? Because I feel like yes, I need, I need a drink. But what should we have? Oh, Babe, your tits look fake. I can't stop looking at them. So I'm about to have my period, so that's why. That's why I got grumpy yesterday as well. I just think Kate Middleton is just smashing it in every single sense. Do you know what I mean? Like she's just a pin-up girl for perfection, for royal perfection. Oh yeah, for like British, like middle upper class, class, upper class. She is the pin-up girl. Echelon of society. Is that I mean, a word? She, yeah. Upper echelon. She just does everything. Things so well. Her styling team need a raise. I <laughs> bet they've got one, babe. You know I think they're probably fine. A styling to, uh, a raise. Margot Robbie's press team and her outfit. She's everywhere. Wow. Also, fair play to Margot Robbie from what I know of the story. I think she really pushed for that film. I think no one really wanted to make it, and now it is like the moment. We had our first. We had a fight. It wasn't even a fight. It wasn't it was even so a good. fight. It was no, so good. it was a proper sister fight. I love it, it when was. that happens. It was like, you, know you, when just, it's like Row! you were just like mean to each other for two seconds, and then you're like, and then get we, each other and then off the ledge. And I was like, love you, miss you too. <laughs> I just wanted to check that you didn't actually have any like you know anger. No, I know, I appreciate you that. Just talk about. You just get off your chest. Um, <laughs> off your big periody chest. <laughs> What's your biggest fear? This question is from best underscore friends kiss. Death. <laughs> I'm terrified. Why? Dying. It's the only thing that's certain. It's so lovely and I safe. Just, it's not though because I've got so many. You things dying to do. or other people dying? You narcissist! You meant yourself. Didn't I know. You? Yeah, me dying. Because I think <laughs> I don't care about my mum. Do you believe in an afterlife? I believe that this isn't it. I agree. Because I think that's impossible. I don't know. Like, what... I think we're transient beings. Uh huh. So I don't know what that looks like. I don't know that I believe in fluffy clouds and yeah. a big man. I don't know why death scares me so much. I just feel like I would be robbed of my life. If it was like tomorrow. Yeah, I think that's because we're, we're young. Like lots of old people say when you get old, you don't. You don't hear it. You can't you wait for it. Not that like, you can't wait take for it. Me but away. you know, it's Miriam Margulies. I was reading her thing in Vogue and she was like, I think about death every day. You get to an age where you're aware that what's in front of you is less than what's yeah. behind you. And it's not scary because you've mm. had lived a really wonderful life. Whereas now I feel like I'm just, we're just getting started. But you know? God, I hope you don't die anytime soon. That would be a tragedy. Are you scared of death? No. My biggest fear, honestly, is not reaching my fullest potential. I was to say failure is my second yeah i'm failure. getting to like my mid 40s 50s and just, and just being middling. like oh, i didn't do any of it and i really should have done and i could have done because i can be lazy sometimes and i worry that sometimes i walk the path well trodden that scares you know me that. i'm scared of that well, i'm every... really scared of that i have the same feeling of getting to our 40s and thinking none of it happened yeah. and we were delusional yeah, yeah. <laughs> but that's not gonna happen so that's it's not fine. gonna happen car working wash. at the car wash well if you need a car wash maybe we can get a car wash self-service do i look like i wash my own car i need a machine <laughs> <laughs> to do that for me. You absolutely don't look like you wash your own car. It's one thing I will say about you. Right. Okay, this one's from B Collie. How did you get into your chosen career and how do you know it was right for you? Into this, okay, good question. For me, it was always like, I always knew I wanted to do, not this, obviously, sit in a car, but 
like Graham Norton for me was my pinup girl my whole life. Like yeah. I just, but then I left uni and I just got scared to follow my dream, I guess. Yeah, everyone because else was not. Say if you're studying like media or journalism or broadcasting, I think when you graduate, the job roles in that space yes. don't really exist. Yes. So really you have to go freelance or you have to work in the sector, but in a job you don't really want to do. Or you just get a normal job. Or you just get a normal yeah, job and, and then you side hustle, which I think both ways is really hard. Like for a bit, I worked in a spin studio on front of house and I tried to do presenting on the side. That was really hard because I was earning £10 an hour and how do you get presenting on the side? Yeah. It's so hard. So I guess it's just like finding opportunities and experience wherever you can. How did you get into Corner Shop? They contacted me. We obviously both joined Riverside, so that's a really good Riverside, place to start. It's community stuff. So people do like local TV, community would, radio. Yeah. Or news. Yeah. Yeah, Corner Shop for me kind of came out of nowhere and was like the biggest blessing at a time when yeah. I needed it so much. Honestly, I think a lot of it, if you ask me, really if you ask me how did you get into this, I would say a bit of luck, timing. Like yeah, it just, timing is a big thing. This, none of this really was planned. It's like a journey and you just like put one step in front of the other yeah. and just see where the journey takes you. And I think just say yes to everything at the start. I agree. Like I everything. really think just say yes. There is no such thing as learning too much. No, can, exactly. Like, and it can be a horrible job and you can cringe at it when you watch it back and all of that stuff. But actually, it, all of it's experience. A hundred, a hundred percent. And it's going to help you define what you actually want to do. Like what I want to do now, I think in my career has changed so much from what I thought I wanted to do when I first kind of started. In what sense? Well, like, I started out in acting. Like that's oh, so see, different. Like that's what I wanted to do originally and thought yeah. I always would. And then it kind of changed into like, maybe I want to do like investigative journalism. I just feel like I've gone through so many stages mm -hmm. and that's through doing things. It's almost like a trial and error. Yeah. Basically. Yeah. Even doing this, when we got started this, we didn't really know what we wanted. We just were like, yeah. well, let's just do it. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, and I think from conversations we're having with people in the industry currently, I would say that self-sufficiency is, is really, really like admired. And it's a trait that people are kind of looking I for. Agree. So you might think you've got no experience because say you can't get the job on the community radio, you can't work in TV or whatever it is. But if you've shown that you've got a body of work that you've made, I, I think that's just as much I merit. Think, I think that's even maybe more merit. Yeah, maybe. Because, it's, because it's, it. the thing is, it's so easy to do now. So it's like, if you're not doing that, why? Why? Right. Why? Exactly because that. it's so easy. Exactly that. Just, you just need an idea, honestly. Yeah, it's about an idea. Okay, that's that one, B. Love you. Go get them, Also, girl. thank you everyone so much for your questions because we thought we'd have two and we had like 25. Honestly, we couldn't get through them all. Well, we're going to try. What's your Starbucks order, B? Uh, okay, the main order is an iced oat latte venti. You've got to get a venti because then you can get the whipped cream on top. Mm. You've got to buy a cookie straw to eat the whipped cream with. Do you get the vegan whipped cream or the normal no, whipped no, cream? No, 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 no. Whipped cream, don't be ridiculous. And then you've got to get a normal straw to drink your coffee with. If you're feeling extra adventurous, I would recommend caramel sauce on top of the whipped cream. Yeah, and you really go to town on that, don't you? Right, but mm. don't get a frappuccino. Frappuccinos actually suck. I don't know. Yeah, it's a bit slushy. No, no I don't like yeah, that. Yeah, no. no. I don't Starbucks have a Starbucks order because it tastes like dirt. So that's. Okay, her me. coffee order though is. Oh, my coffee order is. Sem a... It's skinny. Cappuccino. Semi skimmed. Cappuccino with semi skimmed milk. Michaela, this is from. It's actually from Michaela. Oh, this is a great question. Okay, tell me. What were your 2023 goals and have you achieved oh any? Oh my God, if you knew our 2023 goals. Well, you've got a big one that you have achieved that you can't talk about. Cryptic. So cryptic that Al doesn't even know. Wait there. What is it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, I haven't achieved it yet. But that was a goal. Yeah, that was a goal. We can't tell you, Soz. Soz. We're going to um, be those annoying people that go, something, you'll know when something you, exciting coming up when in it, the pipeline. When, when you know, you'll know. Yeah. Right. Um, Anything else? Well, you had so many goals. We wanted to get 100K on TikTok. 50, I think. Was it 50? I think I it, in a year. Was. I think we can, I think do, we can do that. I think we can Guys, do it. share, like. like. time today. <laughs> Don't beep, you impatient little squirrel. Yeah, what were you trying to think? I really wanted to quit my job and I haven't done that and it's getting squeaky bum time. Babe, don't worry about it. We're only in July. Yeah. And we've got things coming up that, you know, yeah. might, might yeah, change. You know, the, might bring some income in. Change you the tune. Yeah. Your spin, that was a goal. Yeah, I wanted, yeah, that was a goal and I have achieved and that. You've done it. And I'm really proud of that because that just honestly was one of those things that kind of could be a pipe dream or like just something yes. that you never actually do yes. and you think, I could, I could never do that. Can I really be honest? I remember on New Year's Eve saying, 
that my word for the year is peace. I wanted to find some peace. Oh, babe, that's lovely. And oh, I, I think, do you feel and I think I, everyone around me is commenting like you seem so much at peace with yourself. And yeah. I think that actually it's like not a measurable goal. No, it's not. But that is it's like a feeling. so real. Also so beneficial moving forward, right. babe. My goodness me. I just read this thing that was like, your body is your home. So your just like home. make it a peaceful one, you know? So yeah, that was for me. What else for you? I really wanted to make sure that I I was doing the things that I know make me happy like I yeah. wanted to prioritize that I'm such a yes person and a people pleaser less yeah, so now yeah. I remember being like in January just being like I don't have capacity anymore to fill up my own cup and other people's and other people's good hence Venus on my arm good. she's got a wine glass and she's filling up her own her cup. own cup babe I love that because it's self-love sounds so I think self-love is rubbish I just think what does that mean but this is a thing it does mean something so important it's it just means... the saying is a bit meh yeah exactly but it really really does mean like you can't really give to others unless you're pouring into yourself right. and that's really small things that's like just... for me it was making sure I'm maybe once a month I go and swim in a lake or I walk yeah. somewhere really open yeah, that makes yeah, me feel yeah, yeah. happy alive. and alive yeah. or like it's saying no to that dinner plan because I haven't been home all week and I'd like to cook for myself right. like it's just those little things right. and I actually really am sticking to that good that's great and doing it that's great so that is good that's a hard lesson not especially when you're lesson, busy and you're all over the place for example next weekend I'm going to a festival and then I always said I wanted to help my friend has a clothing brand and I wanted to help her at a festival turns out the only festival I can help oh. her with is the following weekend so I am just gonna go and I know that's gonna be really tiring and I'm probably gonna regret it but you're finding the balance between like doing things whilst you have the opportunity to do them but also like taking care of yourself and making sure you're like if well rested me, I would say babe I'm really sorry I can't come I know but I really want to do it oh you want to do it yeah yeah okay, yeah then that's fine. oh I really want to do it I want it to be in two weekends time so okay. I have a breather in okay. between but that's not okay. the way it's fallen okay fine then. do you know what I mean yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Jamie, if you could give one piece of advice, sorry, what would it can be? I just rewind? To who? Actually. Jamie, be more specific. Go my on. other goal was to fix my skin. And look at you now, no, 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 glowing. No, 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 right. So Jamie says, if you could give one piece of advice, what would it be? Okay, you can only give one piece of advice. You don't In know the who whole it's to. World. Yeah, just has to be one. Oh man, that's hard. Okay, my one piece of advice. This is so stereotypical. Don't ever not be you for anyone ever good always be you even if people hate you for you at least they think something about you at least they don't think oh but she just is like a chameleon who changes what she likes and what she wants for everyone else yeah her. yeah don't ever change okay if you're like a complete bitch maybe change that <laughs> part of yourself but i mean like don't change the essence of who you are and what you love yeah. all the things that make you you mm. don't make them smaller or bigger or anything for anyone then who are you that's my advice i really Really love that because I've just spent my whole especially at uni being made to feel like how people were trying to contain me and I just thought let me be I need to mm. breathe I need oxygen you know mm. I will never ever be quieter or I just will never ever not be myself did you feel like again. people commented on your personality a absolutely lot. friends Ab friends yeah <laughs> Absolutely. Why are you so sarcastic? Or why are you so loud? Why do you always have to be so loud? All of those comments are funny to me because I just think like, oh, they don't know you. Some people because don't want to see you. They want you to right. be something for them. Right. And that's them. That's they don't want to see you. Just they want to put you in a box and that you need to make sense for them. Yeah, and right. that you, you need to be a character for them. Because you make them feel insecure in some way. Because I'm too yeah. loud, I make them feel insecure. So they feel like they have to make me small so that they can be big. Yeah. And I just think, just forget that. Don't Forget don't. it. Forget, forget about it. it. What about you? What's your advice? Eat the cake. Good. Just eat the cake. Good. And I mean that in the literal sense. Good. And I mean that in the non-literal sense. Do it. Honestly, all you have is now and you will never regret eating the cake. The goodness in life. The but grabbing the big things. Taking the risks. Being bold. Going against the grain. Like, trust your gut. Do it. It's about five pieces of advice in there. Sorry. No, but it's the Sorry, same Jamie. thing. Burn the expensive candles. You know? Exactly what you're saving them for. Right. The Queen's not coming for tea. Right. Okay? Right. Wear now your best never. clothes. Yes. Yeah. Dress up. Yeah. Jump in. Sorry, we're throwing everything at you now. We've got it but all. But it's the same, same it's idea. It's all the same sentiment. Right. Yeah. Claudia. Love you, Claudia. What made you want to start doing the drive through Because I absolutely love it. Thank you, Claudia. Thank you, Claudia. <laughs> 
We love you. You know what's so funny? We sold all these calls and people ask us that question and we haven't yet nailed down our PR answer. We haven't. We say something different every single yeah, time. Yeah, I know. <laughs> we do. It's so funny. You go, Gee, do you want to go for that one? Because I just think I don't have You know answer. the sales pitch. We, we wanted to do something together. Like that is actually the That, was the, that was the essence. And our radio show wasn't quite giving us the juice that we needed exactly so we wanted to find something that we really loved and could do together that felt exciting yeah. and that felt in the realm of something we wanted to do bigger and better eventually yeah so we started and that's honestly it the really. drive-through started because Al geniusly was like it needs to be visually interesting and we tried to sit in the bath first because we thought that <laughs> might be fun for everyone and that's we couldn't actually, get the camera angle right we couldn't do it that's actually not a joke and also I think when you're in this industry you can feel a lot like you're sitting and waiting for something to come I think that that's that's actually a huge part of For the prince to take this. you to the ball. And you know, you gotta take yourself. Get your glab rags on and go, girls. Hands are feeling much softer. Well, I haven't done anything. Do you know what it is? It's the water. I've had a revelation. I've been getting really dry skin on my chest. And I actually put some steroid cream on it and I thought it was really, really bad. And I was gonna go to the doctor. Anyway, I went to Madrid, gone. And then I was like, it's because the water in London or is, it is the so sun? hard. No, it's the water. <laughs> and the water in Slovenia. No, do you not know about hard water? You yeah, do you know about hard water. It's oh, water from the shower. Slo yeah, the yeah. water in Slovenia must be smooth AF. Because think about all those lakes. I honestly were hardly showered. Because I was just swimming every day in the lake. I felt so pure. I honestly felt like a Viking. You were living a Viking. Yeah, I was like, I felt like I was in Valhalla. <laughs> Do you want one more before we get a drink? Yeah, why not? Why not? We're going to go to Emily Law because she's written this in capitals. I need to know if the rosemary oil in the hair is legit or not. Do I need to buy? So, look how long her hair is. I've had a little bit of growth, girls. I don't know and I can't tell you because I'm not using it religiously enough. I'm doing it probably like once a fortnight. You've got to be doing it three times a week. You've got to be doing it three times a week. So, has my hair grown just because I haven't had it cut and it's growing? Potentially. And I'm showing it a bit more TLC, maybe. Like, even when I do do the rosemary oil. It is soft. It's soft. It's sad because it's died so violently. Also, look, like, look at how small it is. Like, this tiny little rat's yeah, tail. Yeah, but babe, me too. If I did that, if I got all my... No, thick, gorgeous Asian hair. Mm, sorry, yeah. Sorry, sorry about to it. tell you, yeah. Um, okay, drinks? Drinks. Emily, what's your secret to a healthy, supportive friendship? <sighs> Good question. Very good question. Expectations, being really real of expectations of each other. Good. Like knowing how you want that other person to show up for you and knowing what they need. Like, can you give an example? If I've got a really, really busy week, but you're going through something with X, I'm gonna say, I know you're going through it. I'm super busy. So what can I give to you this week that's gonna help you? That's not expectations. There it is, because you could expect of me that I'm gonna oh, drop I everything see. and be there for you. But I'm saying, I'm super busy and I might not be able to do that. Oh, I see. So what do you need from me and how can I help? You know where you stand constantly with each other. There are so many things that make a good friendship. We're a good example. You can be opposite ends of the spectrum on every last thing, mm. but you've just got to like respect and appreciate that about that person. Yeah. And not try and change them to be who you want them to be. Yeah. Then you don't love that person for who they are. Yeah. Um, honesty. Honesty is like, a big This one. is the space where you should be your most true self and also you should be being checked in on I guess Agreed. like is that does that work for you is that that feels a bit out of character is that something you want to do or is that something you're not doing I would say judgment like to a minimum lack I mean, of judgment like, not zero judgment because otherwise I think your friends can't keep you in check not judging anything but it's questioning everything because that's yeah. what you're there for yeah. like that's what a friendship should be yeah it should be a space where you can go oh my god I'm thinking of doing this or oh I did this yeah. like you should be able to say the most cringy embarrassing horrible thing that you did or whatever and you should be able to say it in that space and be like I don't know where to go from here yeah. and there's no judgment but there's that was rogue so how do you move from that? I actually think a really big part of a good friendship is being able to bicker and fight and then move on. If you harbour anything, yeah. it becomes this ugly, toxic thing. Yeah, also it's not real. That's where you want to like tread from friendship to like sisterhood, really. Yes. Is yes. where you want to start being like, it's water off a duck's back. Like, like yesterday was such a good example. Yeah. So it was like 30 seconds. Yeah, and that's what it needs to be. And then it was like, okay, well actually, do you want to talk about what just happened? Yeah. And then we forgot about it straight away, but you can't then hold on to that. Once it's yeah. done, it's done. But that comes in understanding each other, I guess. Yeah, Thing. forgiving. Yeah, forgiving. forgiving.
I guess the expectation thing as well is like, I think we have the same expectations of each other, so therefore we constantly yes. show up for each yeah, other, we never true. let each other that down. That is true. You can't have a friend where you feel like you're giving everything. Yeah, you're and, and you're getting nothing back, back, or you're constantly like asking for attention, for love, for support, and you don't get it. I think also it's just like really being there. Really? You've got to be there. Like, the keep it small, yeah. is what I'm going to say. Yeah. Because you could have all the friends in the world, I guarantee you they're not all going to be real friendships. We check in on each other, actually more than probably either of us even realize yeah oh 100 all the time yeah. are you okay how are you feeling how yeah. was this did that sit well with you right. on that that is sisterhood if you're yeah. gonna be in someone's life then be in it in all its totality don't do it half-assed yeah agree and my last one is don't compete good this is michelle obama's thing this actually. is so good because it's so easy to do even if you're like getting ready for a night out and you're looking and you're thinking oh my god i don't look good in yeah. that outfit yeah. like it can be like little silly things like that or it can be big huge yeah. life events boy friends, partners, babies, all of it and it's not worth it. What does Michelle say? She's got an amazing group of friends that she's had since before she, you know, before she was Michelle Obama. Sure. And someone asked her, how do you still have such a good group of friends? And she was like, find your people, find mm. your women and don't compete with them. Mm, and that so is true. how you keep friends for life because if your whole life is just one big competition with your friends, they're not your real friends. They're people that you're trying to win against. And yeah. the point of friendship is that you're in it together. It's not a win. It's like, if they lose you lose if yes they win, you yes win. exactly if they get a promotion that's amazing that's a win for you too that's amazing drinks on you carol right <laughs> no <laughs> that's a really good thing and we're thing. not taught that as girls in school we're taught that like if she was mean to you she's jealous yeah like we're taught to compete no 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 yes yes lift me up scratch my back i'll scratch yours right good we are good at that babe love you love you <laughs> El Bridge, gorgeous girl. What would be your dream program to present together? I'm a celeb. Yeah, I'm a celeb. I'm a celeb to get me out. Something of like I'm a celeb. Probably like hopefully in its next version. Iteration, right? Iteration, good. Yeah. Or like. I mean, like a version of Saturday Night Takeaway. Uh, right. I was gonna say. Saturday... Or the Graham Norton show. Oh, right, thank you. <laughs> I'm a celeb. Saturday Night BGT. Is yeah. That what... And Graham. Oh, I'd love BGT. And... I'd be crying and, the whole and Graham, time. And Graham Norton. I yeah. think for us, Graham, like to have a chat show would be like. Epic. Here. Yeah. You can't really get much bigger than your name on the programme. Yeah, yeah. At 9 pm yeah. on a Friday. First impressions of one another. Oh, this is a funny, this is a good question because I. Nika, thank you. Good question. So vividly remember. I oh, honestly oh God, loved you. I thought she was so cool. Right, so just no, I wanted to be just... around her. I, I, I was like trying to speak to her. I was almost like flirting with her. You know how you get that <laughs> thing with like, with yes, other women yes. sometimes when you're a bit like, like oh, I feel oh a bit my like, God, I, I don't know what to do. I need to say. impress her. Yeah, I need yeah, to like yeah, be, yeah. I want her to feel how I feel about her. I had exactly the same. For some context, we were at this community radio like open day, I guess. Yeah, for new presenters. And she walked in. I remember everything you wore, you were wearing your brown Zara boots, little <laughs> skirt, machino crossbody bag with a trench. And I just thought, oh my God, you're the coolest person I've ever seen. And I remember going home and being like, oh, there was the coolest girl there, but I just didn't talk to her. And then- No, I did speak to you in the coffee shop. Yeah. 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 Because I was saying like, oh, like about a speciality mm. show. Like, oh, what kind of thing would you be into? Yeah. I remember. No, I definitely, there was no, no there like was no... weirdness. I was like kind of fancy to her. No, I need to be her friend. Yeah. What's your favorite thing about each other? Thank you, Freya Stewart. Freya, I know you because you always comment on our stuff and I love that for you. I love that you're supporting the girls. You're a no, good friend, No, because, Freya. babe, listen, when we're Graham Norton, we'll remember Freya Stewart, who always commented on Yeah, she'll be front row. Right. right. Absolutely. You. Backstage passes. VIP. What's your favourite thing about each other? Okay, I've got loads, obviously. I've got loads, obviously, too. Ample. Probably my top thing about you is your, like, fearlessness. Like, I think through life, you are so tenacious. You back yourself, even when you don't. You know what I mean? Like, yes. I know you're not like, yes. you know, Superman. And you're not like, no, I can do I anything. No, but I have like a thing in me. You've got this thing in you that is like, put your mind to it and we'll do yeah. it. And I love that. Okay, my favourite thing about you is that you are so, almost to a fault, kind. <laughs> to do a, you think? Yeah, <laughs> like, you are so much kinder to yourself than I am to myself. And yeah, I actually, I, I really, I think that is amazing. Mm. And I think that you are so giving you are like what, I, I don't know that many people who are you know like we'll go to the coffee shop and then she'll just get my coffee and i'll go to the and then she'll cut it's the small things that you do that no one else really does and i just think wow you're really so good and you're good to yourself and you're good mm. to other people i try yeah you're just good you're kind love you love you <laughs> favorite holiday destination oh what where we've been or where we want to go maybe where we've been i'm gonna have to say to learn can i be really basic and say bali as well like that's they're yeah. both such basic places did you really love bali i thought it was i 
loved it. Wait, can we just pause for a second? And please, can we do, drum roll please, Ashley's Dilemma. Go on. Okay, so. Oh my God, I've seen this. Okay, so I didn't really know what was going on. I just saw the messages Me just coming Me DMing in. someone random. Yeah, okay, so tell me. So Ashley's got a dilemma that she wants us to help her with. Agony Alley. I'm hoping she's done something about it by now, because it's been a while since you asked, but Ashley, if this contradicts you, you do you, trust your yeah, you, do you. Right. But we'll let you know what we think. Are you ready? Ready. So guy A, let's call him Aaron. I've known him a little while now. We're in the same classes and we get along quite well. He's been actually suspiciously nice lately, like he's texting me often, etc. I really like him, but the problem comes with guy B, Brandon. They grew up together and we went to the same schools practically attached at the hip. So sorry, Aaron and Brandon went to school together. No, no, no. Ashley and Brandon. And Brandon. Got it. Literally grew up together. Joined at the hip. Went Got to it. the hip. Their family have a running joke that they'll end up together. She's heard recently that apparently he wants to ask her out, but I just don't feel the same. I'm guessing she's getting big friend zone vibes with I Guy mean, like, B. If it's like your brother, you yeah, with them, right? Fair enough. Guy A and Guy B aren't friends, but they are kind of adjacent. They know one another. So Aaron and Brandon, they're in the same circles. How do I let Brandon oh, down without hurting his feelings? I had, I had this. Did you? I had this. This is the funniest I was story. just about to say, what a lovely dilemma to have. Two I young men this. fighting after you, Ashley. I didn't have it with two men, but I had I had this guy that was my best friend when I was probably 16, 17, 18. He's now come out as gay, so that's good. Oh, he wanted you to be his beard. He, yeah. But to the point where like, I invited him to my Leavers Ball and he bought me a bunch of red roses and I was like, oh, you're such a nice friend. Like, it was really bad. And I remember Did him... you get the sense that he was gay, though? Is that why you no, were not no, off him? No, 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 I didn't know he was gay at all. My mum was like, he's in love with you. Everyone was like, he's in love with you. And I remember sitting on my bedroom floor, and he was like, I really want us to be more than friends. And I was like, oh my god, this makes me cringe. So, I've liked this. He was like, I want us to be more than friends. And I was like, I'm really sorry. I just don't see you in that way. Be That's honest. a lovely way of saying it. And you, you have to be honest. You can't, there's no easy way to do this. Honestly, I'd just be like, okay, should I suck your dick? Because I was like, back then, I would have done something like that. <laughs> Baby, so you're bad. Because so right. I'm just so nice. I think you have to be honest. And that was a really good way of no, saying you it. Say that again. I'm really sorry. I just don't see you in that way. I really appreciate your friendship. And I, I think we've got a great thing going and on. And I love you. And I love us as a as, don't say that, maybe that's a bit Or annoying. use Aaron as an example. Just say, gosh, I'm so sorry. I've actually started seeing someone. No, that's worse, babe. <laughs> that's rubbing so And he's the got a bigger dick than no, you. No, I think I that it's got to be like... That. Yeah, it's exactly right. I just I don't really, see you that way. And I want you in my life forever yeah. as my friend. Yeah. But I just would be lying. It would be really unfair of me to say I feel the same way because I just don't. Yeah. There's no easy way. I'm going to be really... Yeah, it's savage, Ashley. Yeah. But you've got to stick to your gut and don't let your mums convince you that you should yeah. be together because of course they want you yeah. to be together. They both think you're amazing and it would work. But if you don't fancy him, if you like this other guy more... Honesty, I just always think honesty. You've also, got to be honest. Yeah. And that's savage. And you'll yeah. feel bad, but in the long run, you'll have done him an it's enormous like killing a favor. puppy. Yeah. Ash, also I want to say to you, there's a little bit of context in here where you say, you know, he's been suspiciously nice to you lately. Don't you settle for crumbs, okay? You make sure... Good that that is not Good. abnormal, that that becomes your normal, Good. okay? Because if he's just Kay. suspiciously nice, that's not what we want. We yeah. want nice all the time, pining for your love and attention because you are a legend. What she said. Love you. What is one thing you do that makes you feel confident and good about yourself? It's so funny because I, when I read this, I thought, oh my God, our answer's going to be so different. I've got a lot of things. When you say I'm nice to myself, that is work. My mind has not been a nice place to be at times, and now it is. I do have mantras that I repeat to myself. Sometimes I even say them aloud. It depends what I need that day. To like affirmations, basically. Kind of, yeah. Like, if we're going into a meeting and I need to feel really... Boss bitch. Yeah, like, I know what I'm doing. Then my mantra might be like, you know what you're doing and you're in the right place. That's if good. it's like, I'm feeling really body conscious, it might be like, you are worth more than the way you look. Loads of things, and I really okay. say them to myself on repeat, or I say them aloud. I also write things on my mirror constantly, because for me, a lot of it comes yeah. through body dysmorphia, so I write it down. I write down loads of things that I love about myself, or the things that my body allows me to do because focusing on that is so much more important than focusing on how you look. I surround myself with people that make me feel amazing because that really fucking helps. People that bring you down, that's hard. That's really hard. Eat well, sleep well, and trust yourself. I always think, why not? In situations where you're out of your comfort zone, well, why not me? Why can't I do this? Of course right. you can. Of course you can. Right. You deserve to be there. I would say, for me, exercise. I can't do yoga and I can't do the Pilates. I have to go and do something like boxing. I need to really feel like I'm 
using my full force of myself. Sometimes you just need to be really reminded of like just how amazing and powerful your body is. Yeah, and what it can do. And what exactly. it can do for you. I think feeling good and feeling confident are two different things. Yeah, but I suppose when you feel good, you probably feel, feel more confident. confident. For me, sleep is a huge, and eating as well, like nature. For yeah, me get also, outside. Get outside. Do you think some of your confidence comes from, because I think this is something I need to get better at, not caring about what other people think? I was going to say, I think to feel confident, I don't mean to say this in an arrogant way, but there are very, very few days where I don't feel confident. Mm. And I don't mean that like, oh, look at me, I'm so wonderful. I am a confident person. But on those days where you have those wobbles, or like when I went to that audition the other day and I thought there are going to be so many other people in this room. First of all, no one else is you. That is actually the number one That's thing. fact. You can think that someone is going to be prettier than you or skinnier than you or whatever. You are you and mm. you are so unique. Mm. And that's something to remember. And number two, kind of like fake it until you make it. Do you know what? Yeah. I mean, that's why I wear colour. Someone said this to me once, like dress for how you want to feel. Yeah, because we are both confident people, but it doesn't come without it self-doubt. Like that still exists. Those voices are still loud, They're but just... we choose not to let them dictate our lives. Right. And we choose to go into every situation. Like we deserve to be there. I mean, of course, there's so many other layers that we could go into about pretty privilege and all of this. Absolutely. 100%. No, but also like we've worked really hard. Sometimes, and I do this too, you've got to give yourself some more credit. Yeah. It's so unfair. Imagine if you saw your friend working as hard as you do and then you were just like, oh, well, you're not good enough. Yeah. You'd never say that to someone else. So you why would do you never. say that to yourself? That's a really good tip, actually, if you really struggle with it. Speak to your, your mom. Like, what is that? It's like if you, you switched bodies with your best friend. If you had to look you. after your best friend's body, how would you feed it? How would you speak to it? And how would you want to give same it back to them? Same thing with your mind. Exactly same thing with your mind. Exactly the same but thing. But I think not caring about what other people think is a huge part Does of help. it. Just why do you care? It's a really easy thing to say and it's something that, sure, has taken me 27 years of my life yeah really that's the thing it does you. but it's a muscle and you can do it you wake up every day and you do it you can don't train. don't drop a day right because it takes time you can do it everyone yeah, can do it i can really it. so truly believe that i do too what do you think on cheating and are girls just as bad i think cheating can be genderless i don't think either gender yeah, cheating more or less matters cheating is bad no matter who does it the trust that it takes to be in a monogamous okay. loving long-lasting okay. relationship is so hard to find so, so easy to smash yeah and i think you cheating can take 10 is years the... to build trust and it can be gone in an hour i think cheating is so cowardly that's what i think of cheating i think it's cowardly you want to shag someone else fine you've got to break up with your partner first do you think yes i think it's so cowardly that's not a word i would use to describe cheating well you can't stop right. and look that person in the face and say maybe sometimes it's not because they're scared it's because they want to have their cake and eat it and that's not cowardly that's just selfish i think that's cowardly i just think that's really selfish well you can't have your cake and eat it it doesn't exist so you're scouring away from yeah. the fact that, that you can't true. have that. That's true. You're running away from it. Have you ever cheated? No, never. never. I haven't. But I've been cheated. Uh, on I've actually would... behaved quite badly at the end of Me one too. relationship. I've behaved I was badly, in. but I haven't cheated. I haven't crossed a line. No, I haven't ever crossed the boundary. I mean, I think it's a fine line, and I've never crossed the line. Sometimes I, I wouldn't want my behaviour played on Love Island, Love Island yeah, movie night yeah. in past relationships. But I'm talking ten. Years yeah, yeah, yeah. Ago. I'm talking. I was yeah, young. Yeah, yeah. Can I be really honest with you? If Raw cheated on me tomorrow, <sighs> just take them off. No, no, no. It's not my shoes. It's my hip. You need hip replacement. Oh, I'm just stretching it. Raw cheated on you, and it was a one time thing don't do it raw i mean he would just never he would never he's not a coward because also he knows that i you can't would... get better than you right <laughs> sorry raw love you no but also he knows he would unleash the dragon in me and that's not worth it <sighs> he'd have cow shit on his doorstep right sorry what's the scenario if you cheated on me and it was a one-time thing you'd forgive him i can't promise you that i would i think you'd forgive back. him listen i get that people make mistakes i'm not saying all cheaters need to listen. go to prison and i know listen i'm so bad i'm not saying like you cheat and you should never be forgiven and get put in the sin bin and i think you can forgive it, cheating. I, think I just think so the actual case. action is so cowardly. I just think it's so case by case because if... It is case by if case. I, yeah. If you're with someone who you think this could happen again in a week. Yeah, and how are they... Doing? And also, it comes down to, with forgiving someone who's cheated on you, it comes down to whether you can trust them again because we say this all the time. Trust doesn't exist. It's just created yeah. between the two of it's you. It's a fake thing, basically. It's not real. Yeah, There's no yeah, tangible yeah. evidence. Someone can be showing up for you, loving you. They can be doing all the right things. And they can still be shagging Sandra down the road. Babe, that's like that film, Mrs. Wilson. Did you ever watch that? Long yes! The, With Ruth like, Wilson and it was her actual granddad. Yeah, and it was like 11... Horrendous. It was like 11 And families. they all turned up to the funeral. Yeah. Okay, we've got to answer this one in light of relationship chat. This is from Ellie. How to get over a guy you dated for three months and didn't work out. Really love your videos. Thank you, oh, Ellie. 
that's we a good you. question because I've been there too. We're people that just fall in love in 10 minutes. Like that, three like, months, yeah. love you, let's have babies yeah, and yeah, yeah. when's it all Build happening? House, yeah. yeah. It didn't work out for a reason. Can I be oh, honest? what, like practical steps? Like Is that the ice question? Cream? Uh, babe, and also I just want to tell you this. You'll look back one day and think, lol. Lol. Like honestly, lol. I was sad over that. Yeah. God forbid. <gasps> babe, I look back at the guys I cried over and I think you wasted your tears on them. Mm. On them. But also cry, no, number no, one, cry. get it all out. Get it out, get it out. Sob, feel it and really feel the feel sadness. Feel it. You're mourning the loss of possibility. Exactly. Yeah. And you've got to mourn that. Right, here's actually my thing. Go on. Mourn. Like, mourn. But not for more than a week. Mm, give it two. Okay, two I'm weeks. a crier, give it two. Mourn. And then move on. Pour into yourself like you would have poured into them. Take yourself out. Go out with the girls. Cook yourself good dinners. Put your makeup on. Get your good clothes on. I'm almost a bit. Now you don't get to mope anymore. After two weeks, yes. you've got to be a bit You get up. You get out. No more moping. If like a child. Sad, yeah, yeah. 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 Take yourself out. Yeah. You've got to go to school. Sorry. Yeah. Up you get. Yeah. You can be the mopey. Oh, so sad for two weeks. And then once your time's up, move on. Yeah. Because and you've got to fake it till you make it. Like, let's keep going. Life's moving. Time's ticking. You can't change what's happened. You can't turn back the clock so let's start again start yeah fresh. start again and also just keep remembering what he want and deserve when you get further away from it yeah. there will be things about that person that you don't even like yeah that you didn't <laughs> even like you didn't enjoy yeah, yeah, didn't make yeah, you feel yeah, yeah. good they're not perfect for you because if they were you'd be with them and also i would say take it as a learning curve yeah. because it's probably gonna happen again yeah so you just got to kind of get used to being sad for two weeks and then moving on especially with your if you're a lover you gotta get used to being heartbroken Fucking many oh, many man. boys have broken no, my heart wow. i think it's actually vitally important to have your heart broken. Mine's honestly, it looks like one of those china pots they have to put back together after they smash them. That's what my heart looks yeah. like. God love it. It's in a right state. Biggest pet peeves. Let's do one on each other and then one general. Okay, my biggest pet peeve in general. Oh, is people with disgusting feet. That's not a pet peeve. That is a pet peeve. A pet peeve is something that irritates you. It irritates you that people have horrible feet. It irritates me when people have dirt under their nails. Fine, that's a pet that peeve. That is disgusting. Kind of. And people who spit when they eat. I love shit like that. I don't mind. I, I think know, just, you know, get your body And my pet out. peeve about you... What is my pet peeve about you? <laughs> oh, the hair on your toes. Babe, that's not a pet peeve. That is a pet peeve. It irritates you. No, that no. doesn't irritate me. The thing about having to eat dinner is fucking three in the afternoon. Yeah, fine. Yeah, pet that peeve. is annoying. I don't really have one about you. Are you joking? When you eat a grenade bar. Yeah. There are so many things about me that must be annoying. No, not really. Like being late? I find a lot of things quite endearing. Like, like you know when you do that thing where your tongue gets a bit stuck in your mouth and you get a lisp? <laughs> I love it when you do that. I know a bit like this. I think that's what cute. That your tongue gets stuck. It's so yeah. funny. I don't know what happens. It's fascinating. I always think, what's happened? It's got stuck to the roof of your mouth. <laughs> Um, there must be one. Oh, people driving so slowly. Like, we're in a 40. Karen, move! I hate that. I've got a lot on the road. Nothing really. about me. There must be something. When you word vomit at me and I can't handle it. Oh, yeah, okay, fine. That's fair enough. Because I just think, oh my God, you're saying so many words. So funny. Because I was like, Your tongue. If, if, you you could could if you could distill <laughs> us into one conversation and the difference in how our minds work, it was that. Well, yeah, because at that stage, well, sometimes we get there like that. And you're, but when you were 60 miles an hour and I was going zero, yeah. I was Parked, yeah, yeah, stationary, parked. Yeah, yeah. and you're going like this at me, <laughs> and I'm like, oh my god, I'm on a roller coaster that isn't. I want to get off now. <laughs> Good. Good. This man looks like he's walking right toward our car. He is. Babe, is he gonna key it? Someone's keyed my windows. <laughs> Oh my god. Love both your styles. What was your fashion journeys like? My, You're more of a fashionista than me, I think. Because everyone always says, how do you have the confidence to wear all these loud clothes? My family, when I say never put any restrictions, I once went to the airport in five inch stiletto, when I was probably 14, five inch stilettos, bright red lipstick, this like huge turban bandana scarf. My family have always said like, express yourself through your clothes. I and, love like, that. No judgment. I mean, judgment, yeah, we'll laugh at you, but do it. Yeah. You need to do it to figure yeah. Yeah. who you are. Yeah, like, it's very good because it is a way of showcasing who you are. Right. My, and also making you feel good, making you feel comfortable, confident. But I do think we both have a fashion journey because we're so different. What makes you love looking like a cowgirl? <laughs> <laughs> I dress to feel. I don't dress to look, I would say. Yes. That's maybe I'm the difference. The total opposite, yeah, so yeah. I don't necessarily look how colours go together, how shapes go together, how things look. I really dress with a feeling. Like I need to feel yes. good in what I'm wearing. It needs to move a certain way. It needs to feel a certain way. It needs to give a vibe that like I dress with an energy in mind. Like today I'm, I'm kind of like an art yes, teacher. Yes. And that's what I dress like. And I'm dressing for a look. Yes. I've always an got aesthetic. a look. 
in my hair. Yeah, yeah always. And like, the fashion journey, I guess, is deciding what that is. Like, what's your impulse to dress? And you've got to just wear the stuff. Because you look back and think, oh my god, that was awful. I never want to wear that again. But yeah, and also, I this. kind of love it. Like, sometimes I'll come down and Holes will look at me and I can tell she doesn't like it. And I think, I feel really good yes. in it, so I'm going to yes. wear it. Yes. And I might look back and think, she was right, that's I hate another, it. There's another thing about not caring what people think. Even if you think I'm going to walk down the street and people are going to laugh, wear it. Wear it. Just wear it. Also, I'd always rather be overdressed than underdressed. Always. Wouldn't yeah. you? Overdressed. I hate being underdressed. But babe, I do think you are cool. <laughs> You'll go to your Tesco meal deal. Chicken salad sandwich, ready salted baked crisp diet coke. Ready, sorry, ready salted. Are you for real? This is so good. It's not. Tell me what is good about. I can make for those at home. It's the baked crisp, ready Babe, salted baked crisp. I don't care if it's baked crisp. or fried or slithered. It's disgusting. <laughs> it's disgusting. <laughs> what? Ready salted is don't so. Don't be so boring. passionate about something like that. What, what is that? Be passionate about racism or anti feminist. Just don't be so passionate boring. about ready salted crisps. Who, oh. Stormzy likes ready salted. <laughs> I don't think he does. He said it in an interview. Did he? He said he likes ready salted and a prawn cock. <gasps> prawn cock. That's what my sandwich is. Prawn cock. You're having a prawn cock sandwich? Jeez. Prawn Marie Rose. Love. Do you? Yeah. I uh, love that about you. I love that you'll eat like egg and tuna and stuff. Egg and mayo, yeah. yeah. And then my crisps is cheese and onion. She hates <laughs> us so much. <laughs> and then obviously the DC. Ops. Always a DC. If you could have any superpower, what would it be? This is the best question ever. Time travel, 100%. Really? Would I go back to the 1990s Brit prop in London? Yes, I would. Would I go back and see Abba live? Yes, I would. Mine be invisibility. Go to the Vikings, yes. I'm oh, the Vikings, babe! Oh, me on a ship! <laughs> yeah! Okay, good, good. Sacrifice good. me! Yeah, yeah, good, good, good. Invisibility. Yeah, because You're such you... a nosy Parker. Oh, no, because then you could like go into like, you know, where Harry and Meghan were having their chats or like all the, you know, you could get all the inside scoop. You could be in the room when Elton John was discussing what his last song on the Glass and Bree stage would be. Like, you could yeah. just know everything. Yeah. Yeah, invisibility for okay, sure. Good. Oh, we should really answer this one, Bexy. What do you both do for work and what was your journey to get there? So our real jobs are very different. I work in production at the BBC Natural History Unit, which make programmes like Planet Earth. Epic, actually. Epic. And I'm also a spin instructor. Ops. I'm a tutor. Teaching. Um, everything. If you need someone to educate your children, send them to me. <laughs> How to deal with situationships when you both like each other but you're not dating? Just ask. Be clear. Why are we all pussyfooting around each other? Say it how it is and if they don't like you, fine. Fine. Back off. off then. <laughs> Go and be with someone no, else. No, come on. Like, just get on with it. Say what you mean. Call a spade a spade. Can I say what I really hate is when girls say, oh, the boy has to ask. Why? Why? Just do it. If get you down wanna... on one knee. Right. If you want to, okay, maybe not. I would never do that. No, sorry. That's not that, that well. much of a feminist. But I'm like, talking God. about, like, if you want to go out with them, ask them. If yeah. you want to say, say, I love no, you first, I think you're quite fit. Do you want to be exclusive? I'd like it if you didn't shag other girls because I don't want to catch chlamydia. Right. So, should we talk about that? Meeting an ex on a group setting after six months no contact what do i do blank don't do what i did I would honestly straddle them and show them your new nipple piercing babe <laughs> no but she's unwell it was so bad well i had him on a really big pedestal he dumped me out of nowhere and i was toxic heartbroken one. he was probably toxic looking bad but not toxic toxic not the toxic toxic one i had he's getting married by the way did i tell you that no yeah i didn't get an invite so that's sad just oh, saw rude. the hen do through his mum's instagram long you still follow his mum mm, yeah <laughs> and i'm glad i do <laughs> <laughs> i hadn't done enough so searching is what I'd say. So do some of that before you go. Make sure you're really backing yourself and you know everything that was wrong with them. Remind yourself of all the shit. Yeah, basically. because I saw him and got a bit, you know, enamoured and then I kind of was a bit drunk and I snogged him and we kind of started having sex and then I realised that he actually made me feel really awful about myself and I stopped and I said I don't want to do this. And then he left and we never spoke again. And he's an actor and he's currently no, on my TV no, I screen. Do. I would go the group in. Said you'd say hello. You'd go hi. No, I wouldn't. I would wait for him to say hello. Why don't I need to say hello to you? No, I don't need to say hello to you. You could give them a little... No, don't Make sure you that. look and feel really good because that's going to help you. If you've got to go in looking like a boss bitch. You've got to look 10 hot. 10, 10. It's lame, I know, but it's going to help. Let him look at you and think, oh my God. Oh my God. And not have look a at the one that got away. No, but I'd not have a conversation. You know, he doesn't need to know anything Don't about get you. into no. any of it. Hi, how are you? Yeah, great. Okay, I'm just going to go grab a drink. See you later. Bye. Then See, have a good night. Yeah. See Sit ya. On. I'm going to go and dance my tits off. Right. What is something you tell your younger self? 
Oh, babe, it's going to be okay. I have a lot of different versions of me. Yeah, and also a lot self. of it you needed to go through. I Mistakes agree. you needed to make. Like, I think the main thing that I would have loved to have been able to gift myself, I've always been outwardly confident, even if I wasn't inwardly yes, so. Me too. But I wish I would have given myself more self worth. There were so many situations I was in that I just lacked, like, a basic level of self worth. Yes, and that makes me sad. So I'd have loved to have given her that. I would just say, at some point, all of this will make sense. Really? and I mean this with everything in my life everything that I've experienced has led me to something onto the next mm. it's like it's stepping stones and yeah. everything in your life has a purpose and when you're in it and it's so painful you can't see it mm. I just would like to remind her that there is purpose to yes, this even in the really and hard stuff you just the hard stuff is actually the stuff that makes you the strongest yeah. the hot can I be really honest with you I what know doesn't kill you makes you stronger so many people I know never really went through anything true and i just think don't get me wrong those some of those moments were so difficult and mm. painful but they have made me me and so don't wish it away even though it's so awful it's all part of your story and that's really the most important thing yeah well, my flatmate went through quite a hard time last year and her saying was that she would say when she was like sobbing it's all just part of life's rich tapestry it's true <laughs> now as i am seeing you're building a tapestry true. and yours will be a lot prettier to look at and a lot more interesting than someone who who's been through nothing. Hey gals, hey Ellie, which celebrity would you choose to have as a one time only guest on drive through Chris Jenner. <laughs> yes. I'm obsessed. I just think Chris Jenner is just, wow. Yeah, fair. Wow. Fair. Wow. And she'd just be hysterical. Oh my God, I'd want so many. Oh, come on, I know who yours would be. Don't say Keith Urban. No, not <laughs> he's not a very good guest, babe. He's got nothing to talk about apart from the fact he's been snogging Nicole Kidman for 15 years and whatever. Boring. Who would mind me? Shania. <laughs> yeah. 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 Shania. No, I wouldn't be able to speak to her. I'd wet my pants. I think she's super cool and super nice. And she's been through a lot. Her tapestry yeah, is Shania. rich, girls. How do you deal with friendships slash relationships ending as you go into a new chapter of your life? For example, uni. Good question. Again, with the expectations, like your expectations of each other need to change. You're not in each other's lives as much anymore. Yeah. With my girls from school, what's really important is that no matter what happens or what changes, when we're together, we go straight back to being us that we we were yeah. at school we don't integrate much into each other's lives now we accept Friends. that we've all moved on and we've all got jobs and partners and other friends but when we stay as our core group we're the same yes. and we love each other and we support each other and we laugh and cry and then we yeah. go our separate ways and we don't expect anything from each other especially when you go to uni especially you when you go you to uni you can't you because need everyone's to, figuring out yeah their and you need to shit. pour into your new yeah. relationships friendships so i just think love each other trust that if that person is going to be in your life forever they will be and just make the effort when you can i think actually it's quite a big thing and it's a lesson that we've both learned some people in your life are just blessings for a period of your life and, chapters. and then they're, they're chapters and that is also okay not everyone you ever know has to be in your life forever and there's a lot of that at uni like it's okay to have contextual friends yeah friends that make sense because yes. you go to lectures yes. together or you go out together yeah and but don't be you... worried that yeah. after uni they don't carry on with you that's okay you do the same with your girls though don't you you just like stay as those girls and you'll just like go for dinner yeah and we don't do things with our boy when yeah. we see each other i always think that i try and keep the do things with our boy partners friends. limited because no, i just think it's I... so special i'm like i love you girl i want you if i, I get you see... for a night yeah so i'm gonna have you get them. Yeah. sometimes we have to get the boys involved but rarely when nice. you go to uni and you're trying to hold on to your school friends let your friends breathe yeah because actually your real friends will you'll come back together come back. but yeah. you can't be like Oh, you to be my friend and the same yeah. friend that you were for the last it does that's not life what's the most challenging thing about working with a friend especially in the entertainment industry good question <sighs> you need to go into journalism this is so rare when we have a bit of a bicker yeah or a still, disagreement yeah you can't like just take two days that's the entertainment business part so if we couldn't quickly get over something yes. most of the time it's maneuvering each other's moods isn't it because actually you can't reschedule things if we've got something booked or we've got a meeting yeah. or whatever you just have to both switch it on yeah. And I think yeah. we're quite good or we're definitely learning and getting better at Navigating. managing each other's energy so that, okay, she's a bit low energy. Oh, I'm going to be high yeah, energy yeah. today. Okay, I she's agree. a bit stressed out. I'm going to be super non-tense today. Like, I think, Absolutely. and that's the beauty of having a friend to do it with Absolutely. because you're doing it with someone who loves you and gives you the benefit of the doubt Absolutely. always and helps you. Absolutely. You have to be a team. Good. Yeah. Favourite girl and boy names, two each, go. You just said a name, Dee Dee. I'm obsessed. 
That's how short for her real name, Cordelia. Very good. So mine are Wolf, Luna, Tiger, and Storm. Those are my four children. You can't names. have Storm now. Oh, because of Stormy. Yeah. Oh, she's kind of done it. She's done it. <sighs> what about you? Bjorn. <laughs> <laughs> Lagatha. <laughs> it's just all Vikings names. And Ava. <laughs> you said one to Thor. me the other day. Oh, watch her push out a baby and call it Thor. Seriously, I'm not even. You shall be Thor. <laughs> Last question is Can you give us a clue as to what you have coming up? Ooh, wouldn't you like to know? <laughs> <laughs> what we can say is basically nothing. <laughs> <laughs> More of the same. No, it's very exciting. We've got we've something got, on the hob. We've recently had a very exciting meeting that we just came off and were like, ah, what the hell's just happened? But we can't say. We but we can't really say anything. Something Try. that people want. Yes. That's what I will say. And well, I think on quite a big scale. Yeah. And in terms of season two, I would say we're just going to try and keep doing us, but bigger and better. Bigger and better. Bigger car. That's what we're hoping for. At Mercedes. Okay, babes. Okay, love you. Thanks for your questions. Means the world. No, okay. Oh, there she goes. Sincere. Go on. Just want to say. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye. Love you. Love you.